A recent bill signed into law is giving school districts control over how long a school day and school week can be. Fox 56's Josh O'Coolum spoke with a teachers union about how this could change things for students and schools in the Commonwealth. Instead of Pennsylvania schools having to hit 180 school days, they can now choose to meet that requirement in hours. So that could result in school districts choosing to have some school days be a little bit shorter, other school days be a little bit longer, um, as long as they add up to that 900 and 990 hours, depending on elementary or secondary. The Pennsylvania State Education Association has 177,000 members who work in or around public schools. They say they do not expect many changes soon, but this change allows flexibility. Determinations that school districts make that, you know, this might make sense for them in a more uh, rural setting, for instance, where uh, students might have longer uh, bus travel times. This bill was developed with a superintendent's association to meet the needs of students and create more individualized education. The PSEA says they remain neutral on the bill since it could affect the 500 school districts differently. They say before any major changes are made, administrators need to talk to everyone to see what works best for each community. They would sit down and get that input from the community, sit down with their teachers and support staff and talk about how this is going to impact the employee workday and make sure they come to a place where everybody uh, can find some agreement. In Northeast Pennsylvania, Joshua Coulomb, Fox 56 News, first to 10. Pennsylvania was the one of 18 states that required a day and hour requirement before the bill passed.